Hi guys, I'm Will Dyer here at Dyer Mazda. Just want to take a couple minutes, maybe in a minute, tell you about this Mazda CX-5. Um, 2019 model here, this is the Grand Touring. This is our most popular trim level here at Dyer Mazda. You get a lot of great features with this car, but before I talk about the features, let's just talk about the styling and the directions that Mazda is going. Mazda has been making their cars move further and further upmarket, higher class vehicles every year, every model they come out with. It is really impressive what they have done, and they've managed to keep the price point very competitive. So you can get a lot of luxury in this car, similar to what you'd find in an Infiniti, uh, an Acura, possibly even some lower level Audis. They've really upped their game, and I challenge everybody just to come take a look at it and just see what you're actually getting for the money. As you can see, beautifully sculpted car. Uh, the design of this car is just, it, it'll turn heads. And this sole red paint, it's a three-step paint process, unique to Mazda with the red. A lot of other manufacturers you'll see do it with the pearl white coat. They've done it with the red. If it was outside of the showroom here, maybe we'll have a chance to show you that. It is just radiant. It's got depth, it's metallic, it's beautiful, it's pearlized. Now, as far as some of the premium features that I'm talking about, this car has uh, distance following cruise control, just on the touring model. You don't have to get every last bell and whistle to get these features. Um, what this does is it'll set a distance to the car in front of you drive down the interstate and even around town if you want to use it you can because it'll go down to a full complete stop. It'll go down to a stop for a car in front of you, it'll hold that and then as soon as the light turns green or the car starts moving all you have to do is flick a little button on the steering wheel and off you go again to your preset maximum speed uh, setting. Um, in this car you've got the bigger wheels, you've got a moonroof, You've got leather interior, heated seats, Apple CarPlay, navigation, um, also automatic brake hold is another feature. So sometimes if you're at a long light and you've got your foot on the brake and you're just sitting there, your car's still in drive and you're just sitting, waiting, waiting, waiting. Something simple like that, you can just take your foot off the brake and the car will sit there and wait for you. It's got an automatic brake hold on it, which is a little thing, but I tell you, when you drive with it every day, it's actually quite nice. It just makes the whole driving experience just a little more relaxed for you as the driver. Let me open the door and let you take a look in here, if you guys can see. The, uh, the Mazda trim work on the interior is really where this car shines. You can see it on the outside as they drive down the road, but to really look inside, you've got beautiful stitching, you've got perforated seats, you've got the dark wood trim and metal accents, you've got the leather stitching on the door panels, you've got a black lacquer finish on all the um, different surrounds inside. And if you can follow me inside the car here, you'll see you've got a nice thick steering wheel. Um, this really makes the car feel sporty. It's just very sure gripped. You've got nice um, indentions here for your thumbs to hold on to. This is where you can control your stereo, your phone, your cruise control, your distance settings. You've got automatic climate control, and when this screen is up, this is the color touch screen, but it doesn't have to be touch. You also have down here a driver control knob. Uh, if any of you are familiar with Audi, they started this about, oh, I don't know, maybe even 10 years ago, where it's almost like a joystick or a mouse button that you have down here, and you can access your home screen, your music, your navigation, go back, your stereo volume is done right here as is your parking brake and your auto hold feature for your uh, stop waiting at stoplights. You've got memory seats, you've got a moonroof, you've got a Bose sound system. The attention to detail in this car really is fantastic. This is Mazda's most popular model and the Grand Touring trim is our most popular trim. Back seat, luxury as well. Same leather stitching, all on the inside, on the door panels, on the top, you've got rear air, as that's important in Florida, you got the vent straight on your rear seat. Coming around back, you still have the um, excellent Mazda styling with just really intricate details, even here in things as simple as the taillights. Just the way that the body metal flows, uh, power tailgate. We know that's important to everybody these days. Great big storage area. Mazda CX-5 does compete in the segment with a a uh, Nissan Rogue, a Toyota RAV4, a Honda CRV, and it definitely does not short out on the space. It's got plenty of room to do what you want to do. All the seats will fold flat. 
You've got three different ways to configure it. You can fold them all flat. If you've got something just long in the middle, you can send something there, you know, for all those snow, snow skis you ride around with in Florida. I don't know, maybe a surfboard, whatever you can fit in there. Now this being the Grand Touring, as I mentioned, is not the absolute trim level, top trim level you can get on a CX-5. New for th 2019, they have a Grand Touring Reserve and a Grand Touring Signature. Both of those come with a turbocharged 2.5 liter engine, which brings extra acceleration, extra sport to an already sporty SUV. A lot of people may ask, why do you want a sporty SUV? An SUV is not typically a sporty car. If you want a sports car, get a sports car. Well, we all like to have the extra room that an SUV has. And a lot of manufacturers leave out the, the, the tight handling, the responsiveness of an SUV because your center of gravity goes up, it becomes a little more tippy. Um, Mazda has really figured out how to blend those two together. And yes, I realize you're probably not going around a racetrack in your CX-5 and admiring the handling from that aspect. But if something comes out in front of you and you have to make an evasive maneuver and swerve, the other day, driving my kids to school, somebody came straight out into the road and I had to go over one lane and back quickly, a quick zigzag. And I'm not in a race car, but I certainly appreciate the sure-footedness that that provides me, that I was able to safely do that and get out of the way without being a threat to rolling the vehicle or becoming loose handling that could endanger others. It's always good to have a vehicle that handles well, no matter what type of vehicle it is. That is a safety feature in and of itself. Also blind spot monitoring, uh, which was useful, because trust me, before I did that, I made sure there was nobody in my blind spot. I was focused on the car pulling out in front of me. I didn't have time to turn my head and make absolutely clear there was nobody there. So a quick glance to the mirror let me know that I could evasively swerve out of the way. It was great. My kids in the back were, whoa, dad, what did you do? What happened? What happened? Well, we just avoided a wreck safely, thankfully. So it was a surprise to us all and the car handled fantastically. So if you want more power, this car has a 2.5 liter uh, direct injection turbo or non-turbo four cylinder engine. You can get a turbo four cylinder engine in this car that increases the power even more. But we found that the 2.5 liter has plenty of power, plenty of torque, Mazda Sky Active, runs a high compression, which basically just means it's able to develop a lot of torque down low. You don't have to rev this thing like four cylinders of yesteryears to get the most power out of it. It's gonna be responsive even at a low RPM. If you like this styling, but you want even more sport, I'm just gonna shift your attention over here to the Mazda 6. Uh, also has been updated for 2019. A lot of the same features in the CX-5. You're not gonna have a pair, pair tailgate as is a sedan, but the Mazda 6 Grand Touring comes with the turbo engine. The Touring model has the standard 2.5 liter. And this car, again, just beautiful design. Just the way that they've sculpted it, the way they've done the grill, the emblems, the lights, the leather, the dash. Everything about this car just suggests that it would cost so much more than it does. It's really incredible what they've figured out to do when they just put some time and attention into detail, as you would think everybody should do when you're spending the money you do on a car. So again, I'm Will Dyer here at Dyer Mazda. Thank you for letting me go through the CX-5, briefly touching on the Mazda 6. There's plenty of other Mazda models that are available, Mazda 3, Mazda CX-3, CX-9, Miata. All the Mazdas are crafted with the same attention to detail. They have the same type of performance baked into their DNA the same sure-footedness and beautiful design. No matter which Mazda you choose, I promise you'll be delighted with it. At least come take a look. If you haven't looked at one lately, I really believe you will be impressed with what you find. You may not expect it to be a luxury car, but they are working every year to become more and more and more of a luxury car, and the proof is right here in the showroom. The brand is fantastic. Come see one, come experience one. You will enjoy it, I promise.